Hello and welcome back to Uma 301. So let's start from where we left off. We have our character, we've added the extra global and position bones, we've got rid of all the horrible scaling problems, we're good to go. So let's start adding um, some adjustment bones. Uh, so um, let's have a look at this arm over here. If we zoom in uh, to this arm bone, Typically what you want to do, for example, is, is take this bone and um, modify it to swell the arm. For example, if we wanted to put um, larger bicep muscles on here. Um, so I'm in edit mode here. I've just selected that. I don't necessarily want that. Let's switch to pose mode. And I'm just going to hit scale. And if I scale that bone up, you'll notice that scale gets inherited by every bone further down, which isn't what we want. Um, so adjusting this bone directly isn't going to help as much, but it's roughly the effect we want. Um, another thing is I don't think I want to scale in all axes, so I'm just going to hit Shift X, I think. Yep, you can see my blue and green lines there. So I'm just going to scale in Y and Z, and that will just, rather than adjusting the length, that will do a non-uniform scale, and that will add some more bulk to that bicep area. But again, you can see that's being inherited down the bone structure. Um, one thing I do like about Blender is you can see that non-uniform scale in the spheres of the bone joints. So um, that isn't going to work, but that is roughly what we want. So the trick that uh, the humor skeleton uses is we have a duplicate bone which does this scaling for us. So let's create that. So um, let's head over into edit mode for this skeleton. We'll pick this bone here and I'm going to actually find it in the hierarchy just so we can see what's going on. So we should go up the spine and this is off the left shoulder. Need a bit more room here. There we go. And it's this left arm bone here. And you can see the forearms underneath it. So um, I'm going to hit that left arm bone. I'm going to hit Shift D to duplicate it. And I don't want to move it, so I'm just going to hit escape to pop it down in the same place. So there we go, we've got left arm 01. Now this is actually on the same level, this is attached to the shoulder, which I don't want. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to rename it to left arm adjust. Okay, and I'm going to parent it to the left arm. Okay, so this is going to be a child of that left arm bone. So I'm going to head into, uh, actually no, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to shift click on the left arm and I'm going to move into the viewport, press control P and say keep offset. Okay, and you can see our left arm adjust is now down here under the left arm. So at the minute it does absolutely nothing. If I go and, oh, that's the wrong one. If I select my left arm adjust and hit rotate, yeah, I can do what I like with it, it doesn't do anything. Uh, if I went into pose mode, which is what I should have done there, and hit rotate again, you can see it doesn't affect the mesh in any way. So we need to remap the skinning from our left arm. Yeah, we need to remap that onto our left arm adjust. So again, let's just dig through here. So this is showing. There's our left arm, our left arm adjust. Um, now, uh, a lot of other packages use projection. It can be quite difficult to swap mapping from one bone to another. Beautiful thing in Blender is it's amazingly easy. So I'm going to uh, actually select our body mesh and look at the mesh data. And you can see here the vertex groups. Um, you can actually see what's happening if we switch to weight paint mode and I select any one of these groups you can see so left leg you can see there what's actually weighted to that left leg bone um, so I should be able to find here left shoulder so let's have a little look oh sorry left arm isn't it we're looking for so there's the left arm and these are the vertices that are connected to that left arm bone um, the way blender actually links this group of vertices to that left arm is purely by the name so it really is as simple as actually double clicking here and saying I want these vertices to be linked to the left arm adjust instead. So all I've done there is change the name. 
So now if I move the left arm, everything will appear just the same, but these are actually mapped to the child bone, this left arm adjust. So let's, uh, let's come out of weight paint mode. Let's select our bones again, so left arm. Let's go into pose mode and rotate. And you can see everything works as you would expect. Yep. Uh, however, if we hit that left arm adjust and we scale, you can see now it's only scaling that particular group of vertices. Again, you can see that length scale, that, that uh, X we don't want. So shift X, and there we go. That's adding bulk to our bicep. Okay, so we've now, by using that adjust bone, we've got ourselves something pretty straightforward to adjust. And you can do this with any bones you like. Now, this is a very simplistic way of doing it. I'm going to do it over here as well, just to reiterate it. So, But you may want to repaint your uh, weights, things like that. But this will get you going. You can come back in and fiddle with it afterwards. Um, so you'd obviously want to go up and down these spine bones. You may want to add an extra bone for, for example, the stomach, so you can make the belly uh, swell or whatever. But uh, this is pretty straightforward. Let's do this one more time just to show you. So I'm picking uh, the right arm. I'm making a duplicate of it, so Shift D. Uh, is that right? Ah, I'm not in edit mode, so let's say edit mode. That bone, Shift D to create a duplicate escape to keep it in the same place I'm then going to select my new did that create a new one I don't think it did ah it's the right one that's why this is what happens when you rush <laughs> select that right arm I'm going to change its name to right arm adjust great and I'm now going to shift select the right no, not the right shoulder. I'm going to select the right arm adjust, shift select the right arm, and parent that with control P, keep offset. So now that should be a child of the right arm. That's great. So all I need to do now is move the mapping over. So I'm going to head over to my body mesh. I'm going to pick my right, my right arm and change that to right arm adjust. And that's it. So let's go back over to the amateur. Let's pick my right arm adjust. Let's go into pause mode. And we're going to hit scale. And again, let's hit shift X to exclude the X. And there we go. We now have our scaling for that adjust bone. Really easy. All right. Okay, so that's all nice and easy for bones that already exist, but what about creating new bones, like I said, for the stomach or whatever? Um, well, let's have a look at that. It's not that much more difficult. I'm going to create... Um, yes, let's create a, a bone for the nose. Uh, well, Uma has uh, generally three bones on the nose where you can modify it. Let's create one of those. So uh, I'm going to hit five on the keyboard to go into ortho mode and three to look at the side so that looks good and I want this bone to be connected to my head bone so if I select the head bone here let's just make sure we can see it over here and go into edit mode uh, and again just make sure that's visible so I'm going to duplicate the head bone same way so shift D I'm actually going to move the base of that bone and to be honest other than for orientation this base position is all that really matters on a bone this kind of gives you orientation the tail so we can do what we want with that um, I'm going to modify that ever so slightly so in the bone data I'm going to let's have a think um, yeah let's shift the tail to um, let's have a twiddle of this Okay, so we want to go that way. So instead of minus one, two, three, let's have that at minus one fifty. Oh, not one fifty, point one fifty. There we go. So that's moved out, and let's bring that in line with this one here. So we'll say one point six two one. There we go. So just sticking out the front of the nose there. But like I say, the key thing here is this actual position here. Okay, so we can move that where we want. I'm going to just. Move it a little bit deeper into the face, and that looks good to me. Um, I'm going to change this to, um, let's call this nose tip. 
All right, and again, I want that to be a child. You can see at the moment from the dotted line, it's the child of the neck. I want that to be a child of the head, so select my nose tip, shift select the head, into the screen, control P, and keep offset. And you can see now that dotted line is connected to the head bone. Okay, so we've got a bone in place, ready to go. Let's uh, put some weights on it. Um, so I'm just quickly going to turn x-ray mode off, just because it's going to confuse me a little bit. I'm going to hit 1, so I'm looking at the front, and I'm going to select my body. Okay, I've got the body mesh, and I'm going to go into weight paint mode. Be careful here, it's dead easy to start painting away and not realise that you're actually painting weights for as I've got selected here, the right arm adjust. Don't want that. I need to head to the bottom. I need to add a new vertex group. So we just hit the plus button here. And again, I'm going to name that nose tip. So now that bone is going to affect anything I paint here. So I'll, um, I'm going to make sure I'm in draw mode. I'm going to get in a bit closer. And I'm going to just start painting the area that I want to be affected by that bone. So, very quickly, you can obviously take some time with this. I'm going to be just a little bit quick and slapdash with it. Um, let's just tip that round, make sure we get inside these nostrils. And let's get under the nose as well. It's going to be good. Don't worry too much about being super accurate with this. Um, oh, let's just control Z that. And see if we can get in the other side here. Just there's some bits there I've missed. There we go. We get into there. And you may find you just need to fiddle with your brush size to make sure you don't get things you don't want. Um, let's have a look up here. Let's make sure I've got all of this side of the nose and maybe take that up a bit higher. Yep, looks good. Twist this round. I'm just going to press full stop here just to recenter. Because I can't really get a good look here. That's better. Right, and we'll bring this up round here. Make sure I've got all of this. Lovely. I just paint that in. Okay, you get the idea. You can do, I'm sure, a better job than me. Just so this isn't quite such a hard edge, I'm going to switch to the blur brush here. And I'm just going to blend that in nicely. And the more we go around with that the softer it will make this transition, so that looks nice. Just go around a little bit more. There we go. Lovely. Okay. And that's it. <laughs> Shockingly, that is it. So if I go back into object mode, let's go into pause mode. Um, make sure I select my armature. Hit pause mode. And let's have a look at the nose tip here. If I scale it, there you go, you can see we can get some adjustments there. If I scale it just in Z, for example, yeah, you can see we get something weird here. Um, X, we can change the width. Y, we can change the length, which is great. Um, we could also rotate, I suppose, and get, a, get some really different effects. So that's something we can play with with our DNA in uh, Uma. So I'm going to leave it there. If you want to, feel free to add more bones for different parts of the nose. You can do stuff for the eyebrows. So all of the stuff that you find in Uma, you can add bones wherever you like to change the form of the face or any other part of your Uma character. So fill your boots. That really is not as difficult as it would first appear, is it? So hopefully that's helped. Have a go at that. Um, and in the next episode, we're going to look at using morph targets instead of bones to morph our character. Okay, so I will see you then. And once again, I'd like to say a big thank you to my patrons for making this possible. Uh, if you would like to support me, feel free to click that link at the end of the video. Thank you very much, and I'll see you next time.